1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10-foot dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Let's Play of Max Payne. I am Psychoman125. And this is my first official uh, single player Let's Play. I'm going to take a little break from all my multiplayer Let's Plays, but, it's, but I will still be recording them, obviously. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. And. Uh, Let's go ahead and start off with this uh, nice little uh, graphic novel. I will not be talking throughout any of the graphic novels, by the way. Alright, here we go. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe. A magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Alrighty, here we go. What the fuck is going on here? Let's answer this phone really quick here. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Alrighty, what the hell now? That's pretty weird. So anyway, Max Payne is, like, actually one of my most favorite video games I've ever played. Michelle! No! Oh. Art still always gets me. No, 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 no. Alright, let me in. Michelle, bitch. Alright. Freeze! NYPD, drop it! Who the hell are you? Get out of my house! I'm gonna hurt you. Get out. Die. That is no, always no, a really sad God, part. No. Aye. So anyway, um, let's see here. So anyway, uh, I will be continuing Max Payne 1, or I mean, we'll be continuing with Max Payne 2 after Max Payne 1, uh, just uh, for Max Payne no, 3, no, the upcoming no, release date no, of that. No, please, Michelle. And oh, holy please. shit, they shot my wife. You jerks. Dang. So not much commentary going on so far, just, you know, because uh, level 1 is pretty short. Once we get off to uh, level 2, it'll be on to a better beginning. 
No! That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Okay, now we are finally back with all that talking. All right, ooh. Going on here. Oy. Death was in the air at Roscoe That's Street. Good. I'd have to find Alex fast. Alright, so going back, uh, this is absolutely one of my favorite video games of all time. Because of the story, you know, the atmosphere, and uh, just the also like bullet action, bullet time action that you get. It's a lot of fun. I think it's actually one of the best action Pills games. would hold the pain back for a created. while. And definitely one of the best story-based games ever as well. Alright, I'll kill these two. Oh shit. Yeah, you can see that bullet time is just very handy. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. And we'll kill these two. What's up, guys? They're just gonna die today. Alright. There we go. Digging down. And let's go. Got him a kill. Oh, I thought that was really cool. You know, for a third person game, you can actually see the, uh, uh let's see the gun. Or, oh, sorry, you can see the slide on the gun. Jeez. Can't talk today, can I? Alright, last episode of uh, Battlefield 3 is also been shot. You'll be able to view that uh, pretty soon. Just give me a couple days to go ahead and edit everything. Oh shit. Oh wow, I'm pretty lucky on that one. I thought I was actually gonna die there. Alright, so he's down. Got more shotgun ammo. Oh, hello! Alright. More painkillers, more ammo, sweet. We'll go ahead and move on here to the next door. There we go. No, you will not take out my hostage. Hello. Yes, I did. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appear from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from really? the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Yeah, sure. sure. Why not? Sounds good. Follow me. Follow me, or I'll shoot you. No, I won't actually shoot him. That would fail my mission. Oh, shit. So I guess I kind of figured out uh, what all that was about. It's actually a new video being recorded, or 
being started because it only records in like four minute increments. Ah, uh, you killed him. You jerk. Yeah, it looks dead to me. Alright. Anything else is locked. Hey. Fucker. Don't do that to me. Yeah, I tried to activate it all the time, but for some reason that wasn't gonna work. Alright. These three are almost dead. Just do me a favor and die. There you go, thank you. <laughs> so I'm playing this on Fugitive, by the way. I'm not playing it on any of the other hard difficulties, because I just reinstalled this game today. I'll reactivate the power to the subway station. The train lit right up like there. a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Sweet! Now we can go and take a little train ride. So here, no. Thought there were some painkillers right there. So I've played the crap out of this game. I've played it and beaten it, you know, multiple times. It is just a game that you cannot get bored of. You can keep playing it over and over and over again, and it's just, you know, it's just one of those games that you, you just cannot stop playing. It's gonna be hard for me to actually pause too. Enjoy the train ride, by the way. Let's see how Max's train driving skills are, or train operating skills are. That was super subtle. So much for being subtle. <laughs> and we got enemies up ahead, like usual. Die. Holy shit, how many are there? Oh! <laughs> I died alright, and I forgot to save. Shoot. Alright, bear back. And we're back, sorry about that. I got a little cocky there. and So now we are ready to take on these guys, and I have saved, finally. That was a bad mistake. You're coming from a guy who usually saves this game, like, multiple times. So you might actually see me uh, at the main menu a lot, because I will be saving. I save a lot. It is good, though. Especially at parts like this, where you have, like, tons of enemies coming at you. Haha, <laughs> you finally dead. Alright, now we'll go in. And a little bit of the next uh, graphic novel cutscene here. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Alrighty, now let's go. My preferred weapons is the dual Berettas. I usually just like playing with these, and we're gonna use the painkillers. There we go. These two are down. Hello. You're dead. Oh shit. Ouch, that would've hurt. I'm going to see where that enemy is uh, heading off to. Hello. <laughs> Never seen you right there before. And he's down. And save. Yeah, I could go ahead and just use the quick save. But, um, I prefer just going into the main menu. That's how I've always done it. Die. Oh, shit. And we'll go into slow time, bullet time for that. Slow time, yes. Alright, pick up some ammo. Break some crates with my lead pipe. I got some shotgun ammo. Okay, well, that one did not like to break. Neither did this one. But we got him though. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Yeah. Yeah, I played this game a little too much. Where's the detonator? I don't know. Yeah, there was a. Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> So, I don't always remember where all the enemies are, it doesn't matter. And we'll definitely save right here, because there's a, gonna be a lot of enemies. Ow. Oh, of course. So yeah, this is why you save. And we'll just go and use a painkiller. Oh shit! Hopefully I kill him. Okay, kill him. The rest of them. Oh shit, he's got a shotgun. 
Okay. Doing good. Alright. Kill them all. They're down. Actually doing pretty good now. We're going to save again. You know, I think I will adopt the whole quick save. Die. You too. And you next. Okay. Too much ammo wasted. Okay. Hello, where did you come from? <laughs> Jeez. He was just minding his own business. He's like, oh, don't kill me. Ah, I killed him anyway. Oh. Um, answer the damn phone. There we go. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. I always found that pretty amusing. Oh, shut up! Thank you. That's always funny interaction you hear from Max. He's like, shoot the alarm. It's like, yep, thanks. The bank robber scored yeah, on the I table. Yeah, I would probably say the same thing myself. That is an annoying alarm. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Hmm. Acer Corporation. What's that all about? Right, we'll go to the next door. I just picked up some. The bank robbers have left their oil. tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Jeez. That's a lot of explosives. Alright. Time to go back to that one door that I uh, couldn't get through. Because I needed a detonator. And now I got it. It's gonna blow some shit up. Alright, we'll go and save right now. And I put a, should have pressed F5. Here's where we're gonna see some enemies. Oh shit, he's got a grenade. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's uh, get back for the fireworks show. Boom. Oh yeah. Well, that worked perfectly. Now go ahead and enjoy this small little cutscene here. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're well, glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. How rude. I was trying to have a conversation with the guy. And these guys decided to interrupt my little funeral for him. You will all pay for this. Alright, before they'll go ahead and pay, let's go ahead and pick up some painkillers, though. Alright. Pick up those. Pick up some cash. Give me my money. Never mind. Go ahead and uh, get the Digit Eagle out. And well, I got some more ammo for these. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, except, uh, let me take your spot. Yeah, what is with everyone trying to throw grenades at me? Hello. Die. Hey, you didn't do your job. You guys fail. Alright, so I've used up all my, uh, Beretta ammo. Let's go ahead and, uh, grab some more painkillers. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a few. Oh, that's all I can really use. We're going to open up the control door. I got my shotgun. Oh wait. I thought I thought that door was supposed to open. Hmm. Maybe I pushed the wrong switch. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Huh, <laughs> I did. I thought it was already closed. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Mission 2 complete. I will go ahead and do three missions at a time. 
Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. All right, let's kill these annoying bastards. <laughs> oh, never mind, I did switch. Oh, you bitch. Come on. Oh, holy shit. Come on, use pain killers. Okay. Uh, I think my controls just died somehow. Okay then, I'll be right back. Again. Alright, sorry about that. Um, for some reason, it can, the keyboard controls can just somehow die off. Uh, I don't know what is wrong with it. These guys will not die, will they? Alright, well one of them's gone. Just die! Thank you. Alright, he's gone. I finally move on here. Quick save! A letter on the desk caught my eye. I'll read you in just a second. There we go. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gogniti. Gogniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Okay. Yeah, everything's all right. Don't worry. Yep, everything's fine. Don't need to come in. Like I said, everything's fine. No, it's not. It's just you guys, you monkeys. Hi. You're dead. Okay, now we can finally move on. Getting out was oh, not going to be sucks. easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. How can that survive for a decade or more? Seriously. How can, how can you not go having an elevator? Vibrating beds. Radio. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. 
I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes of fame. Hmm. That's not exactly the way I, I would want to get my 15 minutes of fame. Pistol. There we go, more ammo. Break through the window. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Oh, oh shut up. Okay, so I was gonna go ahead and blow up those tanks, but uh, oh, not the smartest idea. Alrighty, go on through. Holy cow! All right, well I'll go and shoot this anyway. It's always fun. Oh shit! There's another one. <laughs> that wouldn't have ended, you know, very well for me. Dumb door. Hey, what's up? Hey. I'll reach for that gun. But thank you very much for opening that for me. Is this the one for the up? Oh, yep, that's where their sawed off shotgun was. Alrighty. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Oh dude, I gotta watch this. Get out of the way! Let me watch! Oh come on, now I got your body in the way. Come on, guys. I'm trying to watch my TV. I'm trying to watch my show. Hey. You know what? Screw it. It's not worth it. The head junkies could go off without a warning. I shot you in the careful. back with a shotgun and he doesn't die immediately. It's kind of weird. It's pain. Oh shit, no it's not. Got him dead. No, no, no. It's not who you think it is. Someone else. It's not very nice to, you know. Shoot at me. Ow, what the fuck was that for? Okay, now. There you go. Now you're happy. <laughs> watch some TV. Okay, never mind, don't watch TV. It just kind of exploded. Let's open this door. Piece of crap. <laughs> oh, careful. It might kick back. De -de 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 -de. Kill a vending machine. You talking to me? <laughs> Tough guy. Scared. That's fine. Don't whack me. It's not very nice. Oh shit. No, you're gonna die. And you too. Not even in the gut. Jeez. That's pretty sad. Alright, more cutscenes. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. That grin. That's... Ugh. It's so weird. I am not extremely dangerous, though. How do I turn this thing? This party had been dead for a Ouch. while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. I don't really want to be there for the show. That would be tragic. Alright. Die, junkie. Oh, please stop screaming. You're supposed to be dead. No. No, don't get him. Oh. Oh, come on. Shit, and I... Oh, Alright, right, we'll be back. Okay, hey, let's uh, let's try this again. And I, I also say I think it's kind of funny. I say that I uh, I save a bunch, but I haven't been saving very much uh, this entire video. Ah, I died. Okay, so there you go. You can see that I did save. I was smart that time. No, not get me this time. Oh shit! Ow. Oh. Alright, finally we got through that part. Damn! Can't believe I died twice. I oh, found goodness. Morte's room. Uh, no. I'm not gonna have a shotgun kill me. Enjoy. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. 
You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Hmm, interesting. Well, open up shotgun. Alright. What a handy item you can find. Just in a little pouch. Yo, what's up, man? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of the secret areas. Go. I didn't want to know what had Ow. happened here. Get it was not a pretty pills. sight. Just got that window. And ammo. And painkillers. So there you go. Police cars! No, I didn't do it, officer. They just showed up randomly. How about I ice you? There we go. Go ahead and use another painkiller. Oh, I wonder how I get through here. I'll just shoot it right now. This is one. This is pretty funny. I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb. Nah, it wasn't a bomb. Oh shit. There's another painkiller. Another dead guy. Go no around for this guy. Ow. He already knew what was coming. Another junkie. We'll just leave him alone this time. The hooker had left her diary on the table. Okay, then. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed. If her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. That is, uh, <laughs> it's really disgusting. Blech. Shoot the poster. See? There you go. Let me take a look at the video camera. Blech. Shoot the camera. Get some ammo. Go through this door. Unlock this door right there. And... Hey! Ow! Damn it! It's him. Go get him. No. No, wait. You go get him. You go and get him. All right, we'll just go and throw a Molotov cocktail after these guys. Hey, you weren't supposed to do that. Ow. Well, that worked out just fine, and I just totally hurt myself. And that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Max Payne. I've been Psychoman125. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Please leave uh, in the comment section below uh, what you think so far. And don't forget to also uh, like and subscribe if you want, do enjoy this and want to see more. Alright, I'll see you later, guys. Peace. <laughs>